Hello, everyone. Happy Easter. I'm so happy to be with you, and I'd like to share with you a great post-Easter story. And I'd like you to think about who walks beside us on our journey. Our parish this year is celebrating 100 years of a sacred journey as a parish. And today's scripture reading is called The Road to Emmaus. It's a well-known great story about Jesus walking beside us. In these difficult days, that's exactly the message that I need to hear in my own life. So relax, get contented, and listen to a great story. On the same day, two of the followers of Jesus were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other but all of the things that had happened. As they talked and discussed, Jesus himself drew near and walked beside them. They saw him, but somehow they did not recognize him. And Jesus said to them, What are you talking about with each other as you walk along? They stood still with sad faces. One of them, called Clopas, asked Jesus, are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have happened there during these past few days? What things, Jesus said. The things that happened to Jesus of Nazareth, they answered. This man was a prophet and was considered by God and by all of the people to be powerful in everything he said and did. Our chief priests and our elders handed him over to be sentenced to death, and he was crucified. And we had hoped that he was the one who was going to let Israel go free. Besides all of that, it is now the third day since it happened, and some of the women of our group have surprised us. They went out at dawn to the tomb, but they could not find his body. They came back, saying that they had seen a vision of angels, and who told them that he was alive. Some of our group went to the tomb and found it exactly as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. And then Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow you are to believe everything that the prophets have said. Was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things and then to enter into his glory? And Jesus explained to them what was said about himself in all of the scriptures, beginning with the books of Moses and the writings of the prophets. As they came near to the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going further. But they held him back, saying, Stay with us. The day is almost over and is getting dark. So Jesus went in to stay with them, he sat down to eat with them, and he took bread. He said the blessing, then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized Jesus, and he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, Wasn't it like a fire burning within us when he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They got up at once and went back to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples gathered together. The Lord is risen indeed, they said. He has appeared to Simon. The two then explained to them what had happened on the road and how they had recognized the Lord Jesus when he broke the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. In my own life, as I walk along, Sometimes I fail to recognize the presence of Christ beside me. So I'd like to offer a word of hope and encouragement to all of you, because I need to hear the same message myself, that in dark days we must appreciate the fact that Christ does walk beside us, just as surely as he did with those early disciples. May God's blessing of peace and presence and protection rest over you. And may the glory of Easter surround you 
and your family members wherever they may be. In the name of the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit,